Good day learners, I am Kuya Oliver and today we are going to explore the world of TLE Carpentry. Come on, join me! For our topic for today, we have apply freehand sketching. So first, let us define what is the meaning of freehand sketching. So freehand sketching is a process of illustrating an output without the use of measuring instruments. So that means that we are going to use our hands, our pencil, the eraser, and of course, our drawing paper. Importance of sketching. It helps develop concepts, conveys ideas, and improve a certain output. So how are we going to apply freehand sketching in making an isometric or an orthographic drawing? Let's find out! But before that, let us define what is the meaning of isometric drawing. So isometric drawing is a method of presenting the drawing or the design in the three-dimension or 3D, applying 30-degree angle to each side for the design to appear as 3D. Ano ba pag sinasabi natin 3D? When we say 3D, this is a drawing that has depth, height, and of course, width. Let's move on to the materials used in making an isometric box. So of course, we need a drawing paper, a pencil, and an eraser. We are now going to apply freehand sketching in making an isometric box. Note, we are not going to use any measuring materials. Now. Let's move on to the steps in sketching an isometric box. The first step is draw a vertical line or a vertical axis, just like this. The second step is we are going to draw the left and right axis, just like what we are going to see in the tablet. The third step is we are going to determine the width and length of the box then draw a vertical line. Number four, we are going to measure the height of these vertical lines and then mark the desired height of your sketch. Number 5. Project a parallel line to the left and right axis to form a box. The number 6. Erase the unnecessary lines. Number 7 and the last step, finish your sketch. Label the top, the right side, and your front view. And that's it! Your isometric box was already done. Good job! Now, let us proceed in the making or sketching of an orthographic drawing. So first, let us define what is the meaning of orthographic drawing. So orthographic drawing represents a 3D object using the 2D view of an object. It consists of the three views, namely the top view, the front view, and the right side view. Now, let's dig in to the steps in sketching an orthographic drawing. The next thing you will see is the process of making an orthographic drawing done in digital way. In order to apply freehand sketching and making orthographic drawing, you still need to use pencil, drawing paper, eraser, and your hands. First step, we need to study the object to be drawn. As we can see, the object is like a stair, isn't it? Yes, it is like a stair. 
next step, we need to draw the guidelines of the view. Just like this. Then, label it with top, front, and right side view. Third step, we are going to draw the front view. So, given the object, we are going to know or to determine the surface that is equal to the front view. So, the yellow one or the surface with a yellow color is our front view. So, here, we are going to trace it and then transfer it to our guidelines. Fourth step, we are going to draw the right side view. So in drawing a right side view, first, we need to identify the surface that represents the right side view or the surface that is on the right side view. So again, we need to trace it and then put it on our guidelines and then trace it again, and then put it to our guidelines. Fifth step, we need to draw our top view. So again, we need to identify our top view. So the surface that is colored as yellow is our top view. So we need to transfer it to our guidelines. Number six, finalize the sketch erase the guidelines just like this and now we're done in making an orthographic drawing now given an orthographic drawing we are going to make an isometric drawing okay let's start first step we need to study the orthographic drawing second step we need to draw the isometric box, just like what we are going to see in the video. Third step, we need to draw a guide. Because as we can see on our orthographic drawing, our object is a 2x2. Two two. Fourth step, we need to lay out the slant side first, if any. So as we can see on our front view, there is a slant side. So, we are going to lay out it first, just like what we are going to see in the video. Number 5. We need to lay out the front view, just like this one. We need to sketch the top view, just like what we're going to see on the video. Seventh step, we need to sketch the side view. And then 8th step and the final step, we need to finalize the drawing by erasing the unnecessary lines and then tracing the lines that we are needed. And that's all. We are done in making an isometric drawing out of a given orthographic drawing. So I hope that you learn a lot and you enjoy our exploration. Bye-bye!
It's me, Kuya Oliver. See you again.